Well, it's time to go more than that, Joseph, and we're live in the back parking lot. <laughs> it's uh, we're today. We're talking about a Jeep today. It's an off-roader and a family hauler, although it does one better than the other. And Matt is here with us. Hi, Matt. Hi. What are what we, we talking about? What are we looking at today? Yeah, we're looking at an antique, but it's still in production. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Jeep Liberty Sport. Hasn't been redesigned since 2008, and it didn't get much of a redesign then. Notice the seven-bar grill. Always a Jeep trademark. This is a serious off-road vehicle. It doesn't have a frame, but Jeep proved that you could do it without a frame. It's cheap, 27135 Inexpensive. Inexpensive. <laughs> <laughs> um, you save a lot of money not redesigning them. 27000 for a true off-roader, that's not bad. Uh, you got a real four-wheel drive system here. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Gas mileage is the Achilles heel here. It may be inexpensive to buy, but it's expensive to run at 21 15. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, you have an outdated engine, single overhead cam engine. You have a four speed transmission. Others have gone to five and six. It's heavy, about 4,100 pounds. It has non independent rear suspension. And it has a terrible wind resistance factor, 0 0.39 <laughs> for the techies. That's Other like than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how'd you like to play? <laughs> well, your, your gas mileage suffers. Handling is dated, but I find it kind of reassuring and familiar because it's the way cars used to drive. But you could also use it as a family hauler, getting groceries you around can. town. People are going to complain about the lack of front leg room, the lack of rear leg room. <laughs> They're going to complain about the noise. So there are a few things there, but I find all of that pretty tolerable. In many ways, cars have become too civilized. If you take it out in the woods, who really cares about right. those things? It must be something you a like. Lot of neat, well, there are a lot of neat, fe good safety features, and yet not very good safety ratings. Roof air curtains, belt pretensioners. I kind of like this. This has disappeared largely. Oh, that's, oh yeah, I like that then, too. That's course, nice with groceries. You've got the whole thing mm -hmm. here. But for what groceries, is. you've got to lift them up. Boy, and that's down. high. Yeah, that does look high. It and looks like you have good space, though. You get storage, but I'm not sure what you're going to store. Also, remember, it gets really hot under there, so don't put your camera there. So in this class, it's not your first choice. Well, at the price, it might be. But you've got really good things like the FJ Cruiser. You've got the GMC Terrain Equinox. You've got the Forester. They're all sort of in this class. They're much more civilized. But there are those days when you just don't want civilization. You want something a little exactly. rough and ready. Go out in the woods. And this fits it. And it, it's a useful vehicle. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Thank Matt. You. Good to Let's see you. Let's recap. It's a 2012 Jeep Liberty Sport. Base is 24975. This one is 27110. But here are the numbers, 15 in the city, 21 on the Oh, yeah, that's not good.